Hello, and welcome to Sagittarius A-Star, perhaps better known as the supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy, the Milky Way. What you are hearing in the background is a radio sonification, or in other words, the actual radio emissions from the black hole turned into a human audible sound. When viewed from the Earth, Sagittarius A-star is located near the border of the constellations Sagittarius and Scorpius, about 5.6 degrees south of the ecliptic, visually close to the butterfly cluster and Lambda Scorpii. The object is a bright and very compact astronomical radio source. The name Sagittarius A-star follows from historical reasons. In 1954, John D. Krauss Sen Ching Ko and Sean Matt listed the radio sources they identified with the Ohio State University Radio Telescope at 250 megahertz. The sources were arranged by constellation and the letter assigned to them was arbitrary with A denoting the brightest radio source within the constellation. The asterisk or star is because its discovery was considered exciting in parallel with the nomenclature for excited state atoms which are denoted with an asterisk. For example, the excited state of helium is spelled out H-E asterisk. The asterisk was assigned in 1982 by Robert L. Brown, who understood that the strongest radio emission from the center of the galaxy appeared to be due to a compact, non-thermal radio object. The observations of several stars orbiting Sagittarius A star, particularly the star S2, have been used to determine the mass and upper limits on the radius of the object. Based on mass and increasingly precise radius limits, astronomers have concluded that Sagittarius A star must be the Milky Way's central supermassive black hole. The current value of its mass is 4.154 plus or minus 0.014 million solar masses. Reinhard Genzel and Andrea Ghez were awarded the 2020 Nobel Prize in Physics for their discovery that Sagittarius A star is a supermassive compact object for which a black hole was the only plausible explanation at the time. On May 12, 2022, astronomers using the Event Horizon Telescope released the first image of the accretion disk around the horizon of Sagittarius A star, produced using a worldwide network of radio observatories made in April of 2017 confirming the object to be a black hole. This is the second confirmed image of a black hole after Messier 87's supermassive black hole in 2019. The image, which is based on radio interferometer data taken in 2017, confirms that the object contains a black hole within it. This image took five years of calculations to process. The data was collected by eight radio observatories at six geographical sites. Radio images are produced from data by aperture synthesis, usually from night-long observations of stable sources. The radio emission from Sagittarius A star varies on the order of minutes, complicating the analysis. At a distance of 26,000 light years or 8,000 parsecs, it has been determined that Sagittarius A star has a diameter of 51.8 million kilometers or 32.2 million miles. For comparison, the Earth is 150 million kilometers, or one astronomical unit, or 93 million miles from the Sun, and the planet Mercury is 46 million kilometers, or 0.31 astronomical units, or 29 million miles from the Sun at perihelion. The telescope's measurement of these black holes tested Einstein's theory of relativity more rigorously than has previously been done, and the results match. In 2019, measurements made with the High Resolution Airborne Wideband Camera Plus mounted in the Sophia aircraft revealed that magnetic fields cause the surrounding ring of gas and dust, temperatures of which range from negative 280 to 17,500 degrees Fahrenheit, to flow into an orbit around Sagittarius A star, keeping black hole emissions low. 
Astronomers have been unable to observe Sagittarius A star in the optical spectrum because of the effect of 25 magnitudes of extinction by dust and gas between the source and Earth. In a paper published on October 31st of 2018, the discovery of conclusive evidence Sagittarius A star is a black hole was announced. Using the gravity interferometer and the four telescopes of a very large telescope to create a virtual telescope 430 feet in diameter, astronomers detected clumps of gas moving at about 30% the speed of light. A mission from highly energetic electrons very close to the black hole was visible as three prominent bright flares. These exactly matched theoretical predictions for hot spots orbiting close to a black hole of 4 million solar masses. The flares are thought to originate from magnetic interactions in the very hot gas orbiting very close to Sagittarius A star. In July 2018, it was reported that the star S2 orbiting Sagittarius A star had been recorded at 7,650 kilometers per second or 17.1 million miles per hour, or 2.55 percent of the speed of light, leading up to its pericenter approach in May 2018 at about 120 astronomical units, or approximately 1,400 Schwarzschild radii from Sagittarius A star. At that close distance to the black hole, Einstein's theory of general relativity predicts that S2 would show a discernible gravitational redshift in addition to the usual velocity redshift. The gravitational redshift was detected in agreement with the general relativity prediction within the 10% measurement precision. Assuming that general relativity is still a valid description of gravity near the event horizon, the Sagittarius A star radio emissions are not centered on the black hole itself, but arise from a bright spot in the region around the black hole, close to the event horizon possibly an accretion disk, or relativistic jet of material ejected from the disk. If the apparent position of Sagittarius A star were exactly centered on the black hole, it would be possible to see it magnified beyond its size because of gravitational lensing of the black hole. According to general relativity, this would result in a ring-like structure which has a diameter about 5.2 times the black hole's Schwarzschild radius. Recent lower resolution observations reveal that the radio source of Sagittarius A star is symmetrical. Simulations of alternative theories of gravity depict results that may be difficult to distinguish from general relativity. However, a 2018 paper predicted an image of Sagittarius A star that is in agreement with recent observations. In particular, it explains the small angular size and the symmetrical morphology of the source. The mass of Sagittarius A star has been estimated in two different ways. Two groups in Germany and the United States monitored the orbits of individual stars very near to the black hole and used Kepler's laws to infer the enclosed mass. The German group found a mass of 4.31 plus or minus 0.38 million solar masses, where the American group found 4.1 plus or minus 0.6 million solar masses. More recently, measurement of the proper motions of a sample of several thousand stars within approximately one parsec from the black hole, combined with a statistical technique, has yielded both an estimate of the black hole's mass at 3.6 plus 0.2 or minus 0.4 times 10 to the sixth million solar masses, plus a distributed mass in the central parsec amounting to 1 plus or minus 0.5 times 10 to the sixth million solar masses. The comparatively small mass of this supermassive black hole, along with the low luminosity of the radio and infrared emission lines, imply that the Milky Way is not a safer galaxy. Ultimately, what is seen from Earth is not the black hole itself, but observations that are consistent only if there is a black hole present near Sagittarius A star. In the case of such a black hole, the observed radio and infrared energy emanates from gas and dust heated to millions of degrees while falling into the black hole. The European Space Agency's Gamma Ray Observatory, Integral, observed gamma rays interacting with the nearby giant molecular cloud Sagittarius B2, causing X-ray emission from the cloud. The total luminosity from this outburst is estimated to be a million times stronger than the current output from Sagittarius A star, 
and is comparable with a typical active galactic nucleus. In 2011, this conclusion was supported by Japanese astronomers observing the Milky Way center with the Susaku satellite. In July of 2019, astronomers reported finding a star, S5-HVS1, traveling 3.93 million miles per hour, or 0.006 the speed of light. The star is in the Crane constellation in the southern sky and about 29,000 light years from Earth and may have been propelled out of the Milky Way galaxy after interacting with Sagittarius A star. There are a number of stars in close orbit around Sagittarius A star, which are collectively known as S stars. These stars are observed primarily in K-band infrared wavelengths as interstellar dust drastically limits visibility in visible wavelengths. The high velocities and close approaches to the supermassive black hole make these stars useful to establish limits on the physical dimensions of Sagittarius A star, as well as to observe general relativity associated effects like periapse shift of their orbits. An active watch is maintained for the possibility of stars approaching the event horizon close enough to be disrupted, but none of these stars are expected to suffer that fate. The observed distribution of the planes of the orbits of the S stars limits the spin of Sagittarius A star to less than 10% of its theoretical maximum value. As of 2020, S4714 is the current record holder of closest approach to Sagittarius A star at about 12.6 astronomical units, almost as close as Saturn gets to the Sun, traveling at about 8% of the speed of light. These figures given are approximate with the formal uncertainties being 12.6 plus or minus 9.3 astronomical units and 23,928 plus or minus 8,840 kilometers per second. Its orbital period is 12 years with an extreme eccentricity of 0.985 gives it the close approach in high velocity. I thank you for taking this trip to Sagittarius A star with me. I hope enjoyed this trip and perhaps learned something fun along the way.